And welcome back. Okay, so after defeating the Lindworms, we are in need of camping. Nicolina's afraid. Alright, good enough. Let's move out. Okay, so we need to head east um, to uncover all the spots that we haven't explored yet. Because we are still looking for the witch hut. So let's head to Ras Sanan first. See a very easy orc camp, I'll just leave it be. So caravan contract available, it's going to go to, to the east, let's take it. Don't need so many people assigned to repairing here. Nor do we need a healer anymore, or repairers. Not even one. Could salvage something if we have anything. We have one orc shield. Okay. In that case, let's not bother. It's actually... Well, we already left. Could have bought some tools there. Oh well. Let's, let's just go. Don't care about that event. Not on day 544. Right. Made it. Mirage, Sightings, and Terrified Villagers. Even so, there is a famed gun here. I think it's better than the last one. So let's buy this one as well. Has enhanced damage and additional chance to hit. Let's get that. Not that it's going to be that meaningful in this run anymore. Could get or could use two guns, I guess, but <clears throat> probably want packs and belts to make a better use case scenario out of it, which we don't have. Anyway, <clears throat> let's check the armorer. Couple of okay. Layers there, or not layers, um, base layers is what I should say, probably. And there is no weapon smith. Check the recruits, though. Okay, a muladi, determined iron jaw, one star melee skill, two star melee defense. So probably not good enough, but worth considering for a moment. I don't think I want to fire anyone for for this gal, though. Don't care about servants. All right. Um. Yeah, tools. They are horribly expensive. We do have the money, though. So there we go. Did anyone level up? Nope. All right. Let's head to airlock. Three Skull Orc War Camp. Is this close by? 
East of Hemelsburg. Okay, well, we could do that. It might pro prove to be a slight challenge, perhaps. We did get a Ragna killed in a two skull orc war camp. I'll take it. Um, this payment amount does indicate that it's not going to be too tough, but we shall see. We shall see. Okay. Yeah, it's pretty easy. Two champions and other than that should not provide a challenge really. Could bring Malabot for this. See how the gun does against orcs, but then again we don't need to do that. Let's leave Bamin out of it as well and bring Firi instead. Gashon can sit out though. Bring Frirek. Okay, well. Sure, this lineup should be fine. Don't need nets. also increase the combat speed for this first round of combat at least. 22 orcs. Alright, let's just start the fight. Nice headshot there. Probably get Chloe here. These berserkers have semi-dangerous weaponry. Someone like Frirek is at risk in a fight like this, then again I don't care if he dies. So I'm going to play semi-aggressively with him. So I want to save this spot for Hubert, so let's use Fury somewhere else. Headshot. Dead Chloe there. And Enhart should be able to tank one behemoth. So let's lower the combat speed. To two. Couple of ninety five misses in this fight already.
Okay. And the behemoth is fleeing, though Urmuk Ghoul, the man Mincer, might rally them. Now let's just wait with Fury in case we get a launch opportunity. Inspire Fulk. Maybe I should have left them alive for a moment so that the behemoth doesn't get a free spot to move to. Behemoth did not rally. Well, you were shield walling with a famed shield. Okay. Sure, sure. Why not? Okay, almost done with this.
Okay. There we go. Uh, Fury gets a level. Gain two famed orc shields. Yay. Right, Fury level 14. Uh, hmm. well, let's take initiative. Right, and scout this area, even though it's basically going to be just the mountains, right? Get to Wolheim. Check the recruits. This guy could have been good. Even late game, I think. Brawler. Drunkard. Three star resolve. Hmm. Probably not. Especially when they don't get mind over body. Check the armorer here. Nothing. Alright, so. There's this tiny area here that we haven't explored. I guess we head there. But let's go through Holtschlag, which has the black market. Come on, I don't want to play dice. Stop it. Okay, here's the four scala <clears throat> legendary rock unhold contract. That might be a real challenge. There's also a scrot contract available. Okay, check the black market and uh, there's basically nothing because of these conditions. All right, so how many Rock unholds will that spawn for us is the question. That's going to be tough. We'll need to utilize this Stolworm Scale Cloak immunities for knockbacks and throws. Probably need to bring Faruk with the Indom as well. But the main question is how many it spawns for us. But yeah, let's take this contract. Thank the gods you came. The mountains have come alive. I have seen it. Boulders the size of a house, steering up from their slumber, standing tall like a man, and then crushing a horse in a single blow. Okay. If you say so, they are offering nearly, nearly 30,000 crowns for this. We definitely don't want to get ambushed in the forest during the night. So we need to be careful, especially since we haven't actually changed our lineup at all. So I think, yeah, we bring Farouk for this. And let's see, let's see. Hammers would be nice. don't have famed hammers available and I went and sold that one-handed famed hammer that we found earlier but yeah it will depend how many of them there are so yeah Farouk is coming who do we sit out probably Firek or Frirek all right, um, yeah. Fury should, we should have weaponry that can actually break 
armor. You have these two unhold splitters. So... Sami could use one of them, of course. Though launching does deal good damage, but... The slash is kind of underwhelming a little bit. So I think we'll use an unhold splitter on Sami. Can Fury handle the heat? Maybe. Let's give him... Well, actually, can he even wield that? No. This costs 18 fatigue to use. So no, no dice there. Just equip, equip um, this thing, I guess. Hmm. One hundred twenty percent effective against armor on this weapon, and he's a duelist. I guess we'll go with that. Nine fatigue, hmm, not ideal. Not ideal. Uh, maybe this sword is acceptable. I don't know. Also, can they even be netted? I don't remember. Well, even so, we don't have too many nets. would really prefer to have more hammers for this, but yeah, let's see how many of them there are. 14 people in the fighting line, okay. Need to be very careful here. Okay, we see beast tracks going into the forest. Definitely don't want to get ambushed by them in the forest. Seven. Well, six. Six plus one. Okay, I think we can deal with that. Uh, it might get people killed, though. Especially since we don't have the hammers apart from with Oscar. I guess we could give someone this reach hammer. That's actually a good idea, I think. So you're never going to use a net there, so let's just get rid of it. Give you a dagger instead, even though you're never going to use that either. So who's going to use this reach hammer? Maybe Herman. Maybe. Or maybe Fury. Yeah, I think we'll give it to Fury. All right. Hmm, I should have repaired this. I still can because they're running from us, aren't they? I think so. Don't want to bring any of these guys. Right, let's camp for a moment to repair. Two hours, that's fine. Please don't run into the forest again. Also, is this positioning good or not? Probably not. We want Farouk on the... So we probably want to start one line back, actually. If I remember correctly, they're basically going to jump into the combat straight away. Okay, well, let's do some reorganizing.
All right, I think that's fine. Not in the forest. If it counts as an ambush, that's going to be horrible. Yes, come out of there. All right. Six rock unholds and a regular one. The mountain unhold is bent over. It looks for all the world like the rubble of a collapsed, collapsed castle. Large boulders piled together with plants growing from between the joints. Joints. I don't know. The rocks shudder and move, grinding together in a horrific low screech. The low pile turns to face you, then stands to its full height, towering above you. It is gnawing on a half a cow, and as it sees you approach, it burbles a chortle, spraying a rancid ichor all over you. Charge! All right. Let's see how horrible this is going to be. Actually use Chloe immediately here. Yeah, I should have brought Gajon and given him an immunity. Immunity cloak, that is. Now let's wait, 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 wait. Maybe advance with Faruk and uh, immediately use Indom as well. But let's wait, actually. Wait. And wait. Okay, Chloe can tie down two of them, as well as the regular unhold. But yeah, we need to be very careful with people who aren't immune to being thrown around. Let's lower the... Well, not yet. Let's lower the combat speed in a moment. But not yet. Well, this is going to be awkward. Um, what we could do actually is tie a few of them down with Faruk as well and then back off with everyone else. That will leave three of them. Well, not, not three, two of them. Which should be semi easy to deal with. I think we'll do that. So let's back off with people. Um, three tiles, I guess. Yeah, three tiles, I think. And Chloe, tie these down. This enough. Hmm. Now let's go here. Okay, so Faruk, 117 initiative. I'm kind of relying on him being able to act before this rock unholds. I think he will. But I'm not a hundred percent sure about that. Let's immediately throw some dirt though. Also, if Faruk dies, then so be it. He's been close to death a bunch of times in this run. Has so far survived. But I won't be too sad if he does perish here. Fending off two rock unholds. Possibly even more of them, but I don't think these two will go for him. I mean, that would be annoying if, well, these three won't be moving, but if all four of these go for Faruk for some reason, <laughs> then we need to just advance again. Well, I don't think that's going to happen.
Alright, Farouk, do you get to act before? Yes, you do. Now let's lower the combat speed. So Farouk will get hit, but I'm hoping Indom keeps him alive for a good amount of time. We have recruited the new guy who should be a better version of Farouk eventually. So Farouk, good luck. Let's see how you do. Let's also use shield wall for this initial. Well, as long as we can. Right. So yes, they will stagger, which is quite bad. Let's see what Chloe's initiative is while staggered. 115. So that's quite bad. Still has 115 melee defense though. Okay, and this one will be able to throw us around, that might mess with our plans, but we need to go for it, I think. Then again, we can just wait for this one, see where, okay, both of them are going here. Okie dokie. So Asker with the hammer is going to deal the best damage here, I think, probably. So Sami has a very impressive weapon as well. Okay, so far so good, question mark. Anywho, I think we need to start this. So it's going to be, get a bit cluster fucky, um, if that's a word. If they decide to throw these guys towards their friends here. But we can maybe plan around that, maybe. Sami is immune, Asa is immune. Okay, let's start this. And yeah, Borkild will take quite a bit of damage from being thrown. I should have probably given Borkild immunity. Then again, what I could do is just Engage with people who are immune and equip reach weaponry with those who are not. That's what I could do. I can I probably have to do that eventually with Borkild at least. Because she is going to get thrown around. That's basically guaranteed. Asker is not immune, so yeah. Hmm. Neither is Yon. Well, for now, I think we'll just fight as it is. I think. But I might regret that in a moment. Right. I think we'll use the reach cleaver with yawn for the most part let's actually wait with him because we can okay enhart is immune thank you stolworm scale scale cloak so let's take this position he gets staggered how bad is that that's quite bad well we just take this position, but we not want to leave a spot open for Sami as well. Also, we managed to lower the resolve of this one. Let's use Fury here, I think. Right, it's going to take Hubert a bit of time to actually get there. 
could rotate with all rum, but not sure if that's going to be worth it. Right. And Fuluk, if he gets hit, as we've seen, cannot take too much. Maybe like two hits into the body. I don't know. Something like that. Lyth just doesn't protect you as well as the others. Just head here. I think that's slightly safer. Alright. Like I said, I could rotate with Walram. That gets Hubert in range. Let's do three rotations here instead of moving in. I think that's probably better than attacking with this mace. Let's do it. Just get your reach mace out. And now that Oscar is here, we don't want to inspire him. Let's inspire Sami. Do I want to take this spot instead? Not sure. If we ever get thrown next to these ones somehow, that's going to be quite bad. But Sami, Enhard and Hubert are all immune, so that shouldn't happen. Let's go there. Right. Good. Could actually wait with Herman. Asa might get. No, Asa is actually immune. Or killed will get thrown. Probably. We'll see. We shall see. I think I'll wait with Oscar before I move in. He's not immune to being thrown either. Okay. Not too bad. Being knocked back is far better than being thrown, I think. Especially when it doesn't deal that much damage. And we are a bit lucky that it was a headshot as well, because Porkild is actually using a rock unhold item, which will repair the head armor. Uh, where's Porkild at here? So this thing restores 10% helmet armor each turn. Okay. Can just move back. Yeah, I'm not sure how long Faruk can keep this up. His armor is going to be destroyed in, well, pretty soon. Getting a bit lucky against Chloe as well, hitting those five percent. Actually a decent idea to use a whip when the armor has been completely stripped, which I could have done. It even has enhanced damage, I don't know if it's going to be worth it though. It would be nice to use this bleed rune orc cleaver here, but I don't want to get into melee range just yet. Alright. Let's move in.
Inspire Sami or Asker. Let's do Asker. Hit the hammer. Very good chance that Farouk dies in this fight. We probably won't be able to get to him to help him out anytime soon. Nice damage. Might be able to kill this one before it acts. Leave the kill for someone else, I think so. Stagger this one. Okay, we need only one more hit, I think. One down. I think we wait before we reposition. Also, just rotate Sami here. That blocks Hubert, though, so maybe we don't want to do that. Okay, Farouk's armor is almost gone. But his hit point situation is fine for now. Um, could start breaking, and I think we will start breaking the armor of this one. Well, head closer, so we can start doing that next round. If I take this spot, then Volram cannot hit. Unless I rotate as well. Um, let's not take it just yet. Okay, nice. Got hit only once there. Move Sami here. Inspire Oscar again. Get this weapon out. Oh. Could have moved there. Well, it doesn't matter. I opened up a spot here. Stagger helps a little bit. Though we would have applied a stagger with Oscar as well. So far, so good. Can't really underestimate this legendary beasts though. damage. Um, you don't even have the unhold perk either. Just the golden dag is a very nice weapon. Okay, nearly killed this one as well. One more hit, unless it's a headshot. So it seems they can't really do, deal that much damage against hit points. So maybe Farouk even survives this. He is at 99 hit points and will regenerate hit points thanks to recuperation. Okay, well, let's go for this one. Let's 
sadly we were not able to kill this one before it got to attack. Could just move with Halvor now. I think I will. Don't need Inspire to kill this one. Also move with Yawn. Right, two down, four to go. And since we are closer to the ones next to Chloe, that's who we will be attacking. But let's let them do their thing before we get in there. Um, Enhart is immune, but he's staggered currently, so let's not move in just yet. Having a healer um, with, uh, let's see, field triage. We could keep Farouk alive forever in a spot like this. Don't have that perk on anyone though. And I do believe he will survive this fight, but... That remains still to be seen. Um, let's move here with Sami, I guess. It's fine. Hubert can take that spot. Herman can move here. And once we start doing this, it's quite likely someone will get thrown some point very soon but can't be helped I don't think 95 miss let's inspire Enhart Another 95 miss. Well, hopefully it won't matter. Can't do demolish armor anymore. wait before I move in with pork healed. Also the rock unhold might just throw Asker and get next to pork healed anyway. Went for the attacks instead, that's fine, especially when it did not manage to actually connect. Alright, let's keep on inspiring Enhart with the nice golden deck and the favorite enemy perk. Alright, seems 
everyone is going to make out of make it out of this alive. Very nice. Let's go for this one now. Uh, maybe we inspire Yon here. Maybe we get the kill. Before it gets to act. Nice. Three rock on holes left. Keep on killing. Keep on indoming. Do a disrespect move just to make some, well, a line of attack for Huber. Does Huber actually have action points left, though? No. So if I do this, then next round Hubert can move in and attack. Let's try it. Okay, 5% only, and we succeeded. And let's inspire Sami. it's fleeing. Good job, us. Let's inspire Yon. Just open up a lane for it to escape and die, I think. Let's just move with Borkild. Okay. Yes, roar. Faruk down to less than 50% health, but should survive. Uh, 
Okay. Two left. Don't need Chloe anymore. I think. But let's keep her close by anyway. Could just move in with Sami since he's immune. Hmm. Is there a point in doing so? Just yet? Do they have Underdog? I don't see it. No, they have Battle Heart. Okay, so it doesn't benefit us at all to move in already. Let's just wait. Right. Which spot do I want for Enhard? Not sure if it matters that much. Guess I just go here though. Rotate someone? Is there a point? Probably not. So let's just use the weapon. Don't actually have a reach weapon for Oscar here, so we need to go the long way around, or can we hit here? No. Unless, unless we move Asa out of the way. Well, it should not matter anymore. Okay, there's the first throw of the fight. It's inspired Sami. Okay, one and a half rock unholds left. Okay, one more. Just one more. Move Oscar in there. Out of fatigue with Osa. Me 
is another 95, but it won't make a difference. Wasted and inspired there, but oh well. And there we go. Okay, so not too bad, but definitely. I think we needed to make use of the immunities and the positioning. Faruk survived just um, well enough. <laughs> I don't know what adjective to use there. Get a lot of these rock unhold heights. No runes though. One pile of rock unhold bones. Okay. Time to get paid. So now we have completed the Stolworm contract once and the Rock Unhold contract once. Thimo of Holtschlag seems surprised when you return. If you have come back to ask for men to help, you are on your own. I already sent my best off to die. You will have to make do with what you have. You show him the remains of the giant, and his eyes grow wide. How? How did you? Never mind. There will be songs written to tell the tale. I am sure. For now, let us feast. You have freed my lands of this horror and earned your reward. He gestures to his servants who cheer as one, then begin tending to your wounds, bringing over drinks, food, and a small chest full of crowns. Well... I don't know if a small chest is enough to hold all these crowns, but maybe. Okay, successful hunt. And that's enough for now. So next time we will continue to look for the witch hut as we've been doing. And yeah. So thanks for watching and I'll see you next time.